All right, guys, we're back with this uh, game that we're playing. This is really hard to control. What the hell? Are we going right or left? We'll go right. The obligatory vehicle level. This is hard to control. I can't even believe it. I don't know if I should be like blasting through these guys or just drive past them. I don't know. Look, I'm already like dead. This is going great, guys. Look at this. Are you serious? He's telling me to keep going. I need to take time and shoot. That's what I thought, because, like, they're going to destroy me. Trikas up ahead. Keep it steady, Marcus. Shut up, Dom. What do you fucking know? I can't aim with this. It's so sensitive. Stupid vehicles. I hate them. The Look at how damaged I am already. Fuck off, you asshole. Why am I so damaged? There we go. It repaired itself or something. I don't know. Bro. I'm not the time to reload. Dude! Isn't this just fun, guys? Did I just roll over a locust? I think I did. Back off. I gotta take this slow and steady, or we're gonna play this like 60 times, so. Look at this guy doing. He's shuffling over here. I was gonna say he's doing the truffle shuffle, but that's not the truffle shuffle. He doesn't even have a shirt to lift. Gotta back up. Did we get him? No. Fucking die. I have any attention to my ammo so I can active reload. I need to just do it manually so I know. Which way am I going? I guess around here? Reload. Yes. I guess this could be fun, but it's like, it's just so tedious. Because the reticle is like super sensitive. Dude. Jammed my fucking turret here. Go through the golden arches here. Straight to McDonald's. I get one of two things at McDonald's. I get a double quarter pounder with cheese, of course, because I'm a fat ass. And then I also get either a 10 or a 20 piece nugget combo depending on how I'm feeling 
I haven't had McDonald's in a while. I, uh, at work, that's pretty much the only thing we can get within a 45 minute, um, lunch break. Uh, so that's all I used to get, but I actually just go up to the gas station up to the street and get something usually. But yeah, I stopped going to that McDonald's up the road from my job because the service got so terrible. Like, I'd spend like 20 minutes in the drive through line. And my break's only 45 minutes, so. It's kind of ridiculous. Unacceptable. McDonald's, come on. I much uh, prefer Wendy's. Like if I'm on a road trip and I'm like super hungry, right? And uh, on this next exit, there's a McDonald's. But I see a billboard for a Wendy's that's 10 miles away. I'm going to the Wendy's. How do I do it? I don't know how. All right, Cole liked it. I don't know how there were instructions that popped up, but I didn't pay attention. Cause you know it's like a, it's a tank. So. I don't know about driving a tank over an icy lake, Marcus. We got no choice, Dom. I think I gotta go some r ridiculous way. You can oh for. F yeah. Okay. Low checkpoint. At least we're right here. Okay. You can kind of see where they're going to land. Just take it super slow. Is this stable? I don't know. Shut up. You make this so much better. Alright, I'm going for it. I think we're good. I don't know how to boost. This is... Nice driving, Marcus. Shh, okay. Rebirth. Thanks, Tom. About to say shut up, but he was actually complimenting me. Shoot. Reload. So if you active reload, you can fire a bunch of shots quickly. In an otherwise slow shooting gun. Okay. Fuck, I don't know. Is this frozen? Why is this so hard to tell where where to go? Yeah, okay. If we're getting shot at, we're going the right way. General rule. Okay, I'm going this way. Long way, of course. I don't want to go too fast. I don't want to play this too many times. Shoot it. Oh, Jesus. We're slipping. Oh, all three. Strike. Steve Reich. That's baseball. I'm, I was thinking of bowling. Reavers! No biggie. No biggie, Smalls. in my hot dogs like hot dogs go on a grill 
All up in my... Okay. Gosh. This is fun. Get that turret out of here. Get some blast radius going on. So hard to aim this thing. Probably about to drive off a cliff behind me or something. Alright. Uh, so E3 is going on right now. And there's been some demos or a demo of Gears 4. And there's also an awesome new trailer. Which I won't spoil it, but the end of the trailer just just makes it really. Uh, there's also um, going to be a really awesome uh, Gears Gears 4 controller, but it's like the you know the high end controller with all the interchangeable parts, and it's 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 a Gears 4 version, and it's it's got like scratches in it so it's like the plastic is molded so it's like it looks like tears or scratches in the plastic which is really cool and it has like I'm looking at it. am I supposed to okay Baird fix that shit okay but yeah, it looks really nice, but it is two hundred dollars for a controller. That's just too much. That's like half of an Xbox. And they also uh, announced the new Xbox One S. I, su I, I suppose um, it's like the slim version. And it's white. I really want a white one. I might get, well, I shouldn't say that because my wife watches this, uh, which she's she's not like a dictator or anything. She'll let me spend money, but like I spend money all the time. But I kind of want to get one of those uh, one of those new Xboxes because they're white and slim and look awesome. But I don't know if I'll be able to. Would be nice though. All right. So we have to go to the side here. Pretty sure. Oh fuck! Please don't. Oh. See, I need to know how to use the boost. Damn it. How do I do this? Is it stick? What is it? I'm gonna have to sit here, guys. I'm sorry. I have to figure out how to do boost because I have to use boost to get across the lake. This is reload. Okay, gotcha. It's A. Alright, let's go then. Why is it spinning me? Oh, it's because I'm turning the wrong way. Okay, turn around. It was like pushing me backwards. Get our shot shot lined up. Okay. Will he make it? Yeah. And shit, apparently. Okay. We made it, guys. No shitting allowed. We're just blazing through this at 14 minutes into the video. Now we got a Gris Griswold family Christmas tree. We're taking back with us. The lawn people are doing the lawn, of course, right now. I'm pretty sure they busted my window out, by the way. 
of my car, not my house. Either way is bad, but... Yeah, like, I had tinted windows, too. So I have, when I got it replaced, I, I haven't tinted the window yet again. So I have, on the driver's side, like, an untinted window, and on the other side, just a, a tinted window. So it's, like, looking really stupid right now. And plus, it's so hot outside that, like, my arm is, like, burning every time I get in the car. It's really annoying. But, like, I can't prove that they did it, so what am I supposed to do? And plus, when I got the window fixed, the guy, and I'm going to say this, by the way. If you ever need some sort of glass repair for your car, do not call Safe Light. Because that guy literally tore up my car and I had to order parts to fix it myself. I like paid the guy. Okay, so the window from Honda, because I drive a Honda, is like $180, right? He, they were charging me like $340 for labor. Well, not just for labor, but for like the whole thing. So $180 or $340 minus $180 is what? Uh, like. How much is that? So it's like $140 for labor. Right? Because 180 <laughs> I got to do this math. Okay, 180 plus 20 is 200 plus 140. They were charging me $160 in labor if I did the math right. Probably didn't, but. Um, oh, shit. Is this what I'm doing? God, that's really loud. I'm sure you can hear that. I'm sorry. But do not use Safe Light if your lawn care people bust out your window because you'll just be wishing you hadn't because you're spending more money. They, um, I actually, or my wife actually contacted them telling them, you know, you tore up my door when you fixed my window. You're supposed to fix stuff, not break more of it. So, like, they... This is another thing. Okay, I gotta pay attention. Okay. Um... So, like, they... This is another fishy thing. They... They were gonna refund my money, right? But they're like, Okay, we can write your check, but we can... That might take a while, because we have to go through corporate. And that's the key word here. Corporate. So, um, I don't think I'm supposed to shoot it. So, we can either write you a check, but it'll take a while because we have to go through corporate. Or we can send you gift cards right now. So, they, what they did was, they sent me, so, the parts I had to order to fix what they broke was like 60, 60 bucks, right? They're like, okay, these cards only come in $25 increments, so we're going to send you 75 So we're like, okay. And then afterwards, I got to thinking about it, and it's like, we actually probably should have just waited for the check. Because that way they'd go through corporate, and they'd see, um, corporate would see that they had a complaint filed against them or whatever. Because, like, why are they writing this check, right, to these people? But instead, we took the gift card, so they probably, the next day, broke, like, six more people's doors. So, moral of the story, don't use Safe Light when your lawn care people bust your window out with a rock. Could have not been my lawn care people. It could have been a little bastard kid with a BB gun, but that was my first thought. But the more I thought about it, it was like they were out, the lawn care people were out that previous night. So, I'm pretty sure it was them. Like, I was getting up for work, dude. I was... I had to go to work, and I go outside, and my window is just busted to shit. And it's funny, because, like, um... I, uh... Okay. I had, uh, tinted windows, right? So... Like, even though it was busted, like, it was all still in place, but it was just 
busted into like a million pieces. But like there wasn't glass everywhere. There was glass inside the car, but it wasn't like as bad as it could have been because I had tinted windows. So it was kind of holding itself together through the window tent. I thought it was like, I, for some reason, my first thought was, okay, I got ice all over my window because that's what it looked like. And then uh, I shut the door or I opened the door and it's like, oh my God, someone busted my window last night. So that was a fun time. Got multiple corpses here or brew marks. Okay, give it a try. Corpses. Why can't I not shoot? Okay. Okay. I fucking hate this level, I swear to God. And I hate my fucking lawn care people. Sorry guys, I'm in a mood right now apparently. Because of this damn level. I don't want to film this level. I don't want to play this level ever again. And these guys always... And we're like the entry to the neighborhood, our house. So like they're always at our house first. So at like the fucking butt crack of dawn. Which it's 12.15pm right now but... But usually at the butt crack of dawn, they're like zooming around our windows on their little fucking lawn mowers. And it's just like all past our window while we're trying to sleep. And we're like, fuck, let me sleep, lawn care guys. The grass isn't that out of hand here. What am I supposed to do? Can I, I can't back up. So like, what the hell? Okay. So I gotta hit him like first try. This is like whack-a-mole or something. Okay, let me move on, please. Is there another? Is there another? We got to be getting close with all these big ass guard dogs around. I don't think so. Okay. This episode's gonna be a long one. Maybe. I don't know. They're all pretty long. Drive up the wall, please. Speaking of lawnmowers and driving up things, my parents have a riding lawnmower, right? And before I, uh, while I lived, when I lived with them, like my dad was um, mowing the lawn one day. And like, I don't know if you know, but like sometimes uh, power you know like those electricity poles uh, sometimes they have like these wire supports that go to the ground to make the pole more stable and they go up at like a 45 okay hit me please they go up at like a 45 degree angle and uh, I just jam this fucking thing are you serious but anyway the wire support goes up at like a 45 degree angle and my dad was cutting the lawn one day and like he doesn't have very good eyesight because uh long story but uh like he was making a turn and when he turned he like his left wheel uh got like caught the wire so like he started driving completely up the wire at a 45 degree angle and then, like, he flipped over backwards, and, like, the lawnmower was on top of him. It's pretty funny to think on now, but he probably could have, like, died or something. But he's all right. He's good. And it's, it's, he's kind of a big guy, too, so it was, you can imagine how slightly hilarious that was. Like, I'm just, like, looking out the window, and my dad's just, like, <laughs> climbing Mount Everest with that lawnmower. It's pretty funny. Are we done with that fucking level? If we get out, I swear to God, I'll be the happiest man alive. That's the guy from the first, uh... What the hell are you doing down here? 
Yeah. Well, after you jackasses blew up my station and Franklin's outpost got overrun, the surface wasn't safe no more. And you guys thought down here was safe? Nowhere is shut. Not anymore. We were fine here for a few months, as long as you stayed away from the roads and Nexus. But now they're coming around where they didn't before. Kidnapping people, torturing them. Nexus. Yeah, Nexus. You got wax in your ears? Nexus is where all the locusts come from. Hey, old man. Can we get there from here? You have to cross the lake. But nobody does except locusts. Those waters ain't safe. Nowhere it is, right? All right, Cole, Bear, I want you to take these people up to the surface. Dom and I will continue on foot. What? But they... They're gonna uh... die otherwise. You'll follow down in the grind lifts once we set off Jack's beacon. But we can't. This is what he tells you he'll take it under advisement. Come on, man, that's bold. Old man, gather everyone and go with them. They'll take you to safety. Oh, wait a minute. This doesn't mean we gotta fight in your army now, does it? I didn't say that. But you're not staying here. Wait, before you go. You ever seen this woman? Name's Maria. Oh, pretty. Something about her face does seem familiar. Maybe she was with one of the other groups that came down before. Stu's group, I think. But Stu and them got captured. Oh, no. But the captured ones? The locusts have been taking them towards Nexus? Probably. Or the work camps along the way. How do we find them? When you get to the highway, near the dam, there's a path that'll take you there. Thanks, old man. Don't know what good it does you. You ain't getting in there unless you're a locust. Hey, Marcus. What if the beacon doesn't work? Then we'll see Jacinto down here. Alright. I'm gonna end it here because I want to isolate that crappy level in its own video. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll uh, see you in the next, hopefully, better episode. See you later.